So we're going to do an experiment today, and uh, we're here at the University of South Alabama in the Pediatric <laughs> Emergency Department at the Children's and Women's Hospital. We're curious that um, you can actually have significant bleeding into a diaper and it not be so obvious, especially if the diaper is a super absorbent diaper. So we're going to actually, I'm going to donate some blood, and then we're going to squirt it in here, and we might dilute it with some saline just to make it look like there was some urine thrown in there too. Three kilograms. Let's let's do a three kilogram child, and you're doing eighty to eighty five to ninety. Let's say ninety. Did I ever tell you that I pass out at the sight of blood? Well, that's not good, so we might need to push it over there. <laughs> I just can't. Um, I'm going to pick this lowest spot so it kind of pulls there. The lowest spot, okay, okay. You know, that looks pretty impressive, though, for just. It does, but let's put some fake pee in it and see Okay, what some happens. fake pee. Okay, here comes, really? the, here comes the fake pee. Look how much that washes out. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, good point. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. okay we're going to do 10 more let's CCs. Do, let's do 10, 10 more. And that was 10 CCs of that was urine. Okay. Fake urine. Fake urine. Yeah. AKA saline. <laughs> I did the clip mark. Okay, all right, that's it. All right. You want more blood or you want more saline? More saline. Let's see saline. what happens with the saline. Hopefully they're peeing as much as they're bleeding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, look at look, look what that does, though. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That is, because obviously just with blood alone, it looks pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. But you put in some urine in there. And this is a significant amount of blood yeah. to be coming oh, in yeah. someone's yeah. diaper. So, so basically 20 ml of blood, 20 ml of saline. And um, it can it can actually mask how much blood is actually stuck in there. So. Yes. Okay. So what I want you to do though is is actually hold hold it right up next to the diaper, so okay. so that it's not like spreading out all over. Okay. And let's let's see. We're just doing a couple cc's. Yeah, like a slow trickle sort of thing. Okay. And then. Okay. So then. And put the saline right again, right in the uh, right, right up next to it, and let's see what happens here. Yeah, we've made plans. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So, so the top one is like 20 cc's of blood mixed with saline, and then the uh, the bottom one was 10 ml mixed with saline. All right. Now we're going to do another experiment, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another diaper, and we're going to put the saline in first and then we're going to put the blood on top of that, okay? So this time, we're going to basically just put saline in first. All right, so the saline's in there first, and now we're going to go ahead and put some blood in. The last 10 ml. And I'm going to save this just and, a little and put it right, But put it right up next to the diaper. Okay. There we go.
And then, do you have another saline? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, how much did you put in there? Uh, we put in about six cc's. Six cc's. Do you want to directly dilute that, like pull saline into the blood? Yeah, just no. shoot it up. Shoot it. And put it right, put it right up next to the, to the diaper there. So, actually, spread it all around, like, like, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. You said just do six. Well, no, we'll just put the whole tin out. Oh, okay. it dilutes it. Mm -hmm. Still almost washes it away. So that's 60 cc's of blood and 10 ml of saline. Looks like you're erasing it. Mm -hmm. So, look at that. Look at that. That's 60 cc's of blood. And that's 60 cc's of blood. And we put in saline. And... Um, it's really complete, and, and, and again, if a parent is changing the diaper frequently, a child can lose a heck of a lot of blood without it being obvious. We can get fooled. Dr. Kirk, you know, what's, what's the, uh, what's, what's our... The moral of the story? The moral of the story, yeah. Is that when parents come in and tell us that they've seen significant bleeding in the diaper area, either from a circumcision site or from the rectum, and we don't see a lot of blood in the diaper, it could actually be masked by urine or the absorbency of the diaper. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Yeah.